The following program is a production of WLRN. We're pleased to have uh, on uh, view uh, from the Norman Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, a great exhibition of paintings, uh, drawings, photographs, and of course the Saturday Evening Post covers by the great American artist Norman Rockwell. He did paint, though, the way he thought America should be, and that's what we'll find in this really remarkable exhibition called American Chronicles, The Art of Norman Rockwell. So many of us know Norman Rockwell from the Saturday Evening Post covers or the Look Magazine covers or having gone to the doctor's office and, and seen uh, that wonderful uh, reproduction of the boy uh, about to get his shot. Uh, we grew up with all of that. Uh, but when you come and see the paintings, you realize what a great technique the artist had. In this exhibition, you'll find uh, not only the triple self-portrait, one of the consummate paintings by, by Norman Rockwell, uh, where he's painting himself painting himself, looking into the mirror, but also the young artist who's looking at paintings. I find that the true tour de force. He's looking very carefully at this Dutch painting, and the Dutch painting seems to come alive, sort of looking uh, at the young boy who holds uh, the guidebook in his hand. And when you look closely at the palette that he holds next to him, you'll see that there's this impasto, this heavy, thick paint uh, that really is rich. Norman Rockwell was a master uh, at putting paint on the canvas and capturing uh, the world that he saw. Of course, that world that he saw uh, was often based on photographs. Among the most famous and certainly poignant works that Norman Rockwell created were The Four Freedoms, a series of four paintings uh, made in 1943 for the war bond uh, effort. And posters were made from these paintings and they were sold in postal offices and when people got their war bonds, paid for their war bonds, if they gave hundreds of dollars, they would get these large posters that you find behind me. Probably the one I, I personally find so important today is freedom of speech. Uh, it's not surprising that uh, in the last few months we've seen it reproduced uh, several times in newspapers because here you find what Norman Rockwell has created was man standing up in a very simple community forum uh, wearing his work jacket uh, and everyone listening and you find that the people who are listening may not have all agreed with him but they were very civil. Boy in the Dining Car from 1946 was a wonderful cover that Norman Rockwell created. It's important to, to keep in mind that what Rockwell used were photographs. He photographed uh, this young boy who happened to be his son, Peter. But what's also interesting in this work is that the black man standing off to the side, the waiter looking very patiently at the young boy, figuring out what the tip should be on his lunch. The Saturday Evening Post had a very hard and fast rule, and that is that people of color could only be shown on the Saturday Evening Post cover if they were wearing their service uniforms. You'll find later in time, uh, when uh, Rockwell moves to Look Magazine, he's able to be much more free, much more topical, and deal with civil rights issues in a much more open uh, way. Um, it's a, a dramatic change from this painting of 1946 uh, to what you'll see a little further down the wall uh, from about two decades later. In 1964, three civil rights uh, workers were murdered by Ku Klux Klan members in Mississippi. Rockwell was commissioned by Look Magazine to illustrate the story. He took a series of photographs that you'll see here, uh, including himself, uh, where he's wearing a white shirt and his hand is drenched in blood, and you'll see it smearing across his body. The finished work shows the three civil rights workers, one prone on the ground, the other leaning up against the other, and the shadow of the Ku Klux Klan members coming toward them. image called uh, Southern Justice. Uh, that uh, was a remarkable work by Rockwell that appeared in Look Magazine in 1965. The problem we all live with, which is the painting Rockwell created in 1964, is a real subject, Ruby Bridges, who was to uh, be the first black girl to enter the New Orleans public school. But she is taken to school by these four federal marshals. Uh, you see her wearing her wonderful white prim dress and graffiti uh, scrawled on the wall right behind her. This is uh, an event that happened in 1955. Norman Rockwell is the consummate storyteller, and what you'll find in his work, in this exhibition, are powerful stories. And you'll find certainly the work that he did for Look Magazine 
in the 1960s and in the 1970s became much more topical uh, than the work he created earlier in his career. So yes, Norman Rockwell is sometimes thought to be all about nostalgia, all about that time we wanted to live in, but as this painting shows, and certainly as the title indicates, the problem we all live with, he was very much a man of the world. What's important to remember is that Norman Rockwell was not painting for gallery walls or for museums. He was really painting these works to be used as illustrations for Saturday Evening Post. So for 47 years, he made these illustrations for the Post, 323 covers, and we have them all on this very dramatic wall installed uh, from the very first ones, what, 1916 uh, until the 1970s. I had to come. I had to come. It was like a, a gift that it was on the same time I was in Fort Lauderdale. And I'm very impressed. I can't believe how comprehensive the collection is. It's uh, wonderful and it's really lovely, especially his treatment uh, with the picture of Bethlehem and all of the layers of translucency. Oh, just beautiful with the shining sky and the stars. The essence of, of this exhibition is that Norman Rockwell lives on in our minds uh, and certainly in our heart.